with the start of this year's Kyoto Summit just three hours away, the delegates from the participating countries are beginning to arrive at the conference center. Welcome back to Snatcher. The final act. Junk. A major poll of domestic and international opinion carried out just last week shows that the vast majority of respondents favor a complete quarantine of Neo Kobe as a means to combat the risk of the Snatcher menace. Well, suddenly Too everyone right. cares about the standards. Yeah. Before it was like, they even exist. Now that the chief's death has been confirmed, it won't be long before they strip us of our junker authorization. So this may be quite a while. They will be deciding how to handle Neo Kobe at the summit in just three hours. There are rumors that they're going to use nukes on the city to make sure the Snatchers are wiped out. Fuck That's everybody ridiculous. Else. Come on, this is the 21st century. That may not be as improbable as it seems. The world's leaders are yeah. extremely concerned about the Snatcher so problem. To plug the chief was going to calm this hysteria in his speech at the summit, but that'll never happen now. Three months ago, government pressure on junker operations increased dramatically. Gillian's transfer here was really our last chance. Our own chief was snatched. It's not too surprising they don't want to trust us anymore. I've heard that the army and FBI are going to take over operations now. Those douchebags. That too will be officially decided in three hours' time. Super the emergency line on the guy. Three hours, eh? Is there any way we can find their hideout in that time? Probably not. If we don't, we and everybody else in this city are finished. <laughs> as far as they're concerned, we're just like a cancerous tumor that has to be cut out. We have to hit the Snatcher's headquarters before then. Gillian, can you do it? If we only knew where it was, I should be able to manage something. Everything's mad about it. Hitting their outposts like Queen's Hospital won't do any good. We have to find their main nerve center. Uh, what about the memory of that Snatcher who was impersonating the Chief? Just like the others, it was completely blind. No, you blew it's a it out of his brain. Mechanism that they used. Wait a minute. <coughs> Mental. What about tracing that video phone call from Jamie? It was no good. The call Somebody didn't last long detective. enough. Still, it definitely did come from within the city. Damn. He's probably putting on this. Where are they hiding? Damn. Gillian, can't you remember anything at all? <clears throat> didn't Jamie say something that implied you were somehow connected to the Snatchers? Nothing. I can't remember a damn thing. Metal, I want you to tell me everything you know about me. Why was I sent to Junker Headquarters? Where did I come from? Uh, Gillian. Metal, the Chief's dead. Tell me everything you know about me. Well, uh, you see... <laughs> Metal! All right. Well, With the Chief is... gone, you are the highest ranking officer here. You knew all along? Of course. And it's not that hard Where around. were we You're rescued so from? Here we go. Three years ago. You and Jamie were taken into protective custody in the Siberian neutral zone by the 17th Siberian Investigative Force. The best kind of More force. precisely, you were discovered in cryogenic sleep pods in an underground bunker near Moscow. Cryogenic sleep pods? Moscow. You mean they were frozen? This is a photograph of the bunker. There is no record of when you were placed there. In addition, the third pod was empty at the time you were discovered. There were three pods? You were revived and taken into custody by the army. Apparently, as a result of the extended sleep, both of you suffered from complete amnesia. How convenient. Another theory suggests your memories may have been intentionally erased. This is the only piece of evidence found at the site. That's Harry's picture from when he was a kid. Da -da. That's correct. Harry is Gillian and Jamie's son. Duh. It's been confirmed by DNA tests. Harry? Harry was my son? Using the information gained so from the photo, it was established that you are Gillian Seed and your wife, Jamie Lorraine. Both of you are American citizens, born in the late 1960s. The 1960s? In addition, so, uh, both of you vanished sleep, without yeah. a trace in 1989. There is no other information available about you after that. 1989? Yes. You come from a world that's been gone for 50 years. But what does that have to do with the Snatchers? When the 17th Special Investigative Force was bringing the two of you out, there was an accident. Though the two of you were all right, most of the 17th was killed. One of them 
was a snatcher. Not the of course, before their departure, they all underwent thorough examinations. So, if one of them was snatched, it had to be somewhere in Siberia, right? That's correct. <clears throat> and in order to attempt to determine the origin of the snatcher, as well as your true identities, you were assigned to Junker headquarters. The hope was that exposure to the snatchers would help you regain your memories. Moscow? Fifty years ago? Almost everyone who was in Moscow at the time was killed in the catastrophe. So Gillian and Jamie are the only living witnesses? Harry... Harry was my son. Did he know? No. It was highly classified information. He was never told. I... I was never able to do anything for him. Wait a minute, Gillian. Didn't Jamie okay. say something idea. about taking a boy hostage? Maybe Harry's up That's sudden. right. They must know about Harry and are using him to threaten her. We have to find their headquarters quickly. We've only got three hours. We already. Gillian, <clears throat> let's think this all through again. We may get some kind of a hint out of it. You're right. Just tell me the there answer. Maybe some clue in the way they're operating. Come on, Gillian, you could do all this. Right. Let's go um... over what we know about them. First of all, what's the snatcher's weak point? Their slits in the head. <laughs> oh, sun rays. <laughs> Ultraviolet rays. That's correct. Their weak point is their defective artificial skin. Long-term exposure to ultraviolet rays causes mutations in the melicocytes of the stratus bezel of their skin, which become cancerous. Didn't know it was an exam. Specifically, yeah. Man, I'm trying to say the word here. <coughs> Long ultraviolet rays in the 250 to 350 nanometer range is responsible for causes the cancer. That's right. And that's the reason why they are so limited as to when they can go out. <coughs> it's cool to go out at night. They only come out at night and in the middle of winter and wear sunscreen even then. That's the method that Jean would use to figure out what the snatchers were up to. They're just like gods. How ironic, it turns out that the destruction of the ozone layer actually had a benefit for us humans. Damn right. That's right. Now, what method were they using to move and be able to avoid ultraviolet rays and sunlight at the same time? Scooters. Oh. Uh... Black taxi. Black taxi. Oh, yeah, yeah. The they were using the abandoned tunnels of the old, old tube liner system to get from place to place. That's how they were able to move around without being noticed. Nielsen's apartment, the old factory, Queen's Hospital, all of their hideouts were connected by the tube liner. Or tube liner. Tube. So maybe there was a tunnel under their main base as well. There's a good chance of that. Shut up, Beacon. Next, what phenomenon was always observed at any location where snatches appeared, including the underground tunnels? Snow nine. Sneezing. Hiccups? <laughs> yeah. That's right. And what was the cause of the sneezing? Snow nine. Dun. You're correct. The sneezing was caused by the presence of the allergen Snow nine. Snow nine is an unofficial form of pollen developed by the military, and its presence is limited to certain regions. They were using it to interfere with radio transmissions and keep people away. They probably were producing it intentionally themselves. The only regions of the city where Snow Nine is still present are areas around the Enum River. It has been cleared out of other areas because of the danger it presents. So that means that their base must be somewhere near the Enum River, right? As a fair conclusion, they are probably somewhere near the Enum River, protected by Snow Nine. Hmm, accessible to Tubeliner and near the Enum River. And they must not forget the free photographs that were found the snatchers with. All of them related to the Soviet Union before the catastrophe. They had them for no reason. Yeah. The map on the wall of Nielsen's apartment, the picture of the temple in the director's office at Queen's Hospital, the photo of Red Square in the chief's office. Why do the snatchers keep pictures and memorabilia like this? For this point. Maybe they're homesick? Maybe that's where they come from? Homesick? It's serious, it's Mika. They're Slaps robots, her. you know. Yes. Let's analyze this a little closer. What city is related to all three of these pictures? Uh, Ma New York. Moscow. That's correct. It's hmm. Moscow. You know the answer. Well, you Moscow must be where they come from. That must be the basis of their programming. 
You might be right, just as people have a hometown that is dear to them, their creators may have put a hometown into their programming. They use very advanced artificial intelligence systems, so they may have needed something like that to maintain their emotional balance. Didn't you have some cool skills? Yeah, they right? were born out of nothing, but they needed to give them some kind of image and emotional base. <laughs> so Moscow is their creator and their home. It's me, great. And the here place that they found Jamie and I. There's a filing to go do. In other words, <coughs> this homing instinct thing of theirs has led them to set up their headquarters in some place that reminds them of home or their creator. What part of this city is like Moscow? Moscow's really cold, no, right? Like, they get out. a lot of snow, don't they? It's fucking snow. Snow. No snow has been recorded in Neo Kobe in several years. Well, then that's not it. Wait. What about that pollen? That crystal bioengineered stuff, Snow 9. We just talked about it. Now that you yeah. mention it, wasn't it snowing on Jamie's video phone call? That's right. Their hideout has to be Jesus. somewhere close to the Ina River. The Ina River flows for miles around here, Gillian. We could never search it all in time. Gillian, let's look at a map of the areas investigated so far. This is an enlarged view of the southwest portion of the city around the Ina River. This blue area is that in which Snow 9 is present. Now I'll superimpose a chart of the abandoned tube liner tunnels. From this we can establish those areas with Snow 9, which are accessible by subway tunnel. Damn. Nice try, but it's still too large. We could never cover it in three hours. Don't give up so fast, Gillian. What about that image of home thing? Also, we were He's halfway out of the door. Maybe what? there's some kind of geographic. Okay, now Neo Grover, you guys can. Maybe this thing <coughs> can be seen or something. I'll display a map of Moscow alongside. Seen by Get Katrina. Get out of here. <gasps> hmm. It's completely What's this? different. Boogie these boogie bits boogie. are green and these bits Look, are red. The rivers are exactly this the same pointless. shape. This is the Moscow River over here. It looks like we're on the right track, Metal. Show us the location that Jamie and I were picked up from. All right, right here. Metal, before the catastrophe, what was at this location? The headquarters for the entire Soviet Union, the Kremlin. <gasps> the Kremlin? Not the Kremlin. That snatcher said something about Who's taking the Jamie to their Kremlin. Metal, what spot in Neo Kobe would match up with the location of Moscow's Kremlin? The Neo Kobe Kremlin. Calculating. <laughs> this is the spot. It's presently occupied by an old church. Kobe it's rather Kremlin. large, but yeah. reports indicate it's been abandoned for nearly 20 years. And it's Metal's right in the island. middle of the Snow 9 and Subway area. That's it! That's their headquarters! Yeah, There's no to be. There's no other possible yeah. Gillian, let's go! Oh, Wait, don't, Gillian, don't plug me. I want to go with you. Sorry, I'm Mika. <sighs> hey, I'm a junker too, right you know. I know, uh, and you're a great one at that. So take me with you then. That's what you did. You yeah. head to the summit to warn the delegates. You break, um, they haven't given up, you know. The summit's in Kyoto. I'm not going to be the only one to run. You've got to convince them not I'm pretty sure what people are running. <laughs> we found their hideout. There's no need now to sink the whole island. Yes, but... It's a tough job. Can you do it? Oh, okay, I Gilly. Yeah. I'll do what I can. So that's Thanks. your psychology degree Thank coming into play, Gillian. Don't say it, okay? Let's go, Gillian. You did so great. No, Gillian? Sorry. Yes? Um... Uh... What's wrong? How about you dinner sometime? Dinner? Yeah, you know. Mika. Dinner? Hmm, married. Mika. Mmm, <laughs> 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 you know, nice pizza. Get <laughs> Relax. I have an eggs with It's Christmas, after all. Christmas, huh? I'll be back by then. Gillian, we have to hurry. That's a Just promise, right? Days ago. I heard you. Yeah. Okay. But I gotta go to church first. Boom. I'll see you soon then. He got back okay, with the Metal, church. Let's go. On. Start off like a dickhead and then he got really serious. I knew it was really serious. Yeah. Then he got the drugs coming out. I gotta go to church. <clears throat> Also, I've got to go to the most... The this is the last window. turbo cycle. Oh, green. Oh, oh green. green. Oh, walk. <laughs> Before we go to the turbo cycle, I just, there's one bit that sticks into my head. And it's at the start of the game. This spare turbo cycle has not been painted, but that does not affect its locomotive functions. Oh, green. Um, at the start of the game, Metal or someone mentions the fact that the Kyoto Summit is happening next month. Yeah, they it's still it December. They moved it forward. Yeah, they don't mention it. They did, I'm sure they mentioned that they moved it forward because of the snatch. Parking lot has become rather lonely. Yeah. 
this is all it appears quite it. safe. It's not been tampered with. How can you tell? You couldn't tamper the last one, could you? Yeah, could you? Walking with a trash can. Oh, right. let's go to the final, the final battle. <clears throat> of course, I know the answer to that question. My house. Uh, my house. I input the map data. Out of heaven. Gremlins locations. Lift off. No coolies if I last jet in the turbo cycle. Bamble, 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 dead did you bamble. configuration, now gaining altitude. Jamie, please be safe. Oh, Gillian, oh, please keep in mind mm. that we're working with a strict time limit. Mika's interested in me now. I... 50 year debt in three hours. Snow! Snow 9, to be specific. We've entered the Snow 9 region. Does that Please mean put on your breathing filter. Direct inhalation is dangerous. All right. Radio transmissions will also be impossible from this point on. Understood? <laughs> Shut up, Darth Vader. He's got breathing. He probably gets copyrighted in for this. <gasps> Gillian, we've arrived. Straight from the side of the church. Great parking middle. Let's go back to John Gable. <laughs> I'm going to go back and talk to Mika. <clears throat> We've arrived at the church. <clears throat> wow, now I know why they call it the Kremlin. Why? It's a very old church. It bears quite a resemblance to Simplice Basil's Cathedral. No doubt they thought the same thing. It appears to be snow, but it's actually snow nine. Try to avoid inhaling any of it directly. Just like that. I'm licking it up. I'm going to go and wee in the snow nine. No, <laughs> it'll burn you. Ah. Oh my god. It's surrounded by a large quiver of tall cedar trees. This is likely to keep just about anyone away. Given the season, a few Christmas lights would really get liven up the place. Shut up, man. The building is about 50 years old, but appears very well maintained. So where's the entrance? Do you remember last Big time when black door at the store? Do you remember last time when someone would really need your help inside a building and you spent ages outside the building looking at the outside of the building? Oh yeah. What happened to that person? Now we're gonna hear Jamie scream. <laughs> this is definitely Snow Nine. It's like deja vu. A center scam reveals that a tube line a tunnel passes directly underneath this area. Well that's no surprise, looks like they got to the right place. Let's go inside. <laughs> the surrounding air the surroundings conceal the church from all but aerial surveillance. I'm not picking up any large movement signals. The only sound is that the wind. All right, now opening the door. What's wrong? Won't open? I've scanned it, and it's not locked. It is probably rusted into place. Not surprising. After all, our friends always go in and out through the basement. <laughs> Let's push it together. All right. Yes, because you'll be One, really helpful. Two. Three. So no, Mel just stands. Um, Gillian just stands and just do it. Let's Mel ram himself against it. Ah, well done. <gasps> What's this? New music. It would appear to be some kind of a chapel for the snatchers. Can you tell me those things pray to who? No doubt to their creator. That portrait on the wall is probably a representation of him. This person is no doubt the one the statues worship as their creator. Hang on a second. This guy. Isn't that random? Boogie boogie boo. One moment, I'll compare the picture with my data on random. While the facial bone structure of the individual in the portrait is nearly identical to that of random, a positive identification is impossible, as the picture is not a photograph. It just looks too much like it to be a coincidence. And like he said, it is not a DNA match. No, it's a fucking painting. <laughs> These are the chairs for worshippers in the chapel, no doubt. Everything is nice and orderly. Just as if the pre-collapsed Soviet Union has been recreated here. <clears throat> Something is written on the painting. The creator, Martina. So this is Professor Martina? The one the Snatcher was talking about? It appears to be a portrait of that person. There are a number of scratches on the surface. They were almost certainly caused by the snatches. Yeah, it's all very organized, almost inhumanly so. 
Hmm? Is there the room further back? Continue back. The only depth of the summit? Now moving into the back room. Was he carrying well? Take your time, guys. Now this is like my church. All the robots and everything. Snatchers! Look at them all! So I'm not picking up any energy readings. They were all deactivated in some kind of suspension mode. So this is their warehouse? Must have been a few hundred of them here. They continue all the way back. Still, it doesn't look like a factory to me. These are the endo structures which have yet to have the artificial skin installed. The bone size and devices and skull slits are all still set to the smallest sizes. So their victims haven't been chosen yet. They're all just waiting their turn. There seem to be a number of containers stacked up in the back of the room. None of these snatches appear damaged. All they need are their energy packs. The gender units have yet to be installed, however. Gender units? As in, like, Where are fake those? dongs and boobies. I'd like to look at these. I do not see any tools or equipment for maintaining anything in this area. This room would appear to be just a storage area. There's some kind of label here. I can't read. 23rd Siberian Investigative Force. <gasps> Siberian Investigative Force? 23rd. It would appear that these snatchers were brought to Neo Kirby from the Siberian Neutral Zone. It seems that the Investigative Forces have been responsible for shipping the snatchers. In other words, the Investigative Forces have been snatched, just like when they found us. I see, so the Siberian Investigative Forces bring the snatchers out of Siberia and into storage here. But I think you're right, Metal. And then the snatchers just wait in storage to be reactivated and adjusted after their victims are selected. A rather efficient system. I wonder where the actual snatching takes place. The back part of this room may hold the answer to that question. Oh god. So... We're gonna call it. Because once we get to the back room, we investigate, stuff happens, and then you get to the two, oh my god, biggest difficulty spike battles ever. And then we have about gaming. a 45 minute ending. Uh, as is traditional for Degajima. So. Next episode will be the last episode. It will be a long one. So it will mostly be David <coughs> like redoing the shooting bit. I imagine. I'm probably going to cut the fact that no, I'm probably faith, die. I have faith in you. I have faith so um, until then, <coughs> join us for the last episode next time. Stay safe. Don't get snatched. Don't get snatched. <laughs>